There it is, people. Are you ready for it? It's another jump start challenge. Yes, I know. Probably by now on this channel, you're sick of seeing this goddamn logo. But we're doing this. Uh, we're doing another challenge. So four packs and a blister. The blister packs cleaned house last time. So we got four hanger packs, four blister packs. We did the hanger packs first last time. Let's do the blister pack first this time. And let's use a very, very dangerous knife to open the sucker up. So... Do, do, do. Hope you guys are having a happy, happy new year. There we go. Uh, you now I gotta have to somehow get this open. There we go. All right, let's go through these. Let's get the packs out. Get the packs out. Just your packs. Just your packs out. All right, we're ready to go. I'm gonna set these aside. Um, have not hit anything really big in Jumpstart yet. I got a couple of the uh, Jumpstart exclusive cards. I got, I think a, um, a I think I got a Exquisite Blood was not bad. Um, but I haven't had any like knock it out of the park hitters yet, which is fine. I didn't expect to. I've watched a couple of box openings since I started this. Um, there, every box doesn't have something great. Um, so here you go. Um, just like in opening booster boxes, like if you're looking for a specific mythic, you might as well open three booster boxes because that's about how um, that's about how spread out they are. Let's see what we got. We got Under the Sea. Oh no! Please do not put that Little Mermaid song in my head. Uh, this is new though, uh, so I'm expecting we get a bunch of krakens and octopuses. Let's see. So three, four, five. I will only read new cards, and I just bent that one. There's the Under the Sea, uh, oh wait, that's M21. There it is, no, that's it too. What the hell's happening here? One, two, three, four, five, six, we've got seven M21 lands, and there's your eighth one. Tell me what the hell's going on there, I don't know. It looks like some undersea thing. Carl, you can price that if you want, if you don't, I don't care. Um, oh, and the library's just telling me that uh, a book is in that I needed. Okay, let's run through these. We got an Aegis Turtle. We've got a Wishful Merfolk. We got a Wanker Knot. Uh, we've got a Voyage's End. Uh, Thriving Isle. Uh, just for time here, I'm only going to read new cards. Uh, so reprints. I, I will read the uh, the rares and possibly the uncommons. I don't know. Uh, there's your Octo Prophet. That's your dude on top. That's cool artwork. Who is that? Let me see. Is it Heather Husband? No, it's a uh, Gregor Rouse guy. I can't pronounce your name. Uh, so there we go with a rousing read. We're into the uncommons. What Waker of Waves? That's pretty cool art. Uh, Unstable Obelisk. Uh, that's not new. It's a reprint, but uh, not worth reading. It's never going off. Uh, we got two, le three left. There's your Sigiled Starfish. Uh, Tolerian Kraken, and what is our rare for this set? It is a rare 8-8. I'm guessing it's a Kraken. Nope, it's Pursued Whale. So, wah wah. Uh, put a value up there while I'm reading it. Thank you. Five blue blue for an 8-8 whale. When Pursued Whale enters the battlefield, each opponent creates a 1-1 red pirate creature token with this creature can't block, and creatures you control attack each combat if able. Huh. That's funny. So it enters the battlefield, and it makes your opponents attack every turn. Spells your opponents cast that target Pursued Whale costs three more to cast. That is interesting. Not, no value there, though. Um, those cards, when they fill the rare spot up, they usually shit that spot up. And here, usually shit it up, and nobody wants Krakens, Whales, any of that stuff. Uh, heavily armored. Uh, I think this is a new one on me. Whoops, too close to the camera there. Sorry. Uh, um, a pause for a tasty beverage. Hope you are having fun tonight, but not too much fun. Uh, heavily armored. So let's see what we got there. We got our six lands, hopefully. I want this video to run 25 minutes like the last one. It's your 6M21 lands. We got, oh, that's interesting. Look at that. That's like a reflection in a shield, I guess. 
Let's see, it doesn't scream planes to me because it's just a shield laying there and it's got to be leaning on something so it's not just... Okay, let's go. Uh, Basari's Acolyte, which is in every white deck. There's your Heath. Uh, makeshift Battalion. Uh, Lightwalker. Uh, there is she. Trusty Retriever. Uh, I, I'll read it. I don't need to, but uh, it is a three and a white, two, three dog. Um, how do we get... I'm going to fix the lighting here. If it kills me, there we go, much better. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, choose one, put a one-one counter on Trusty Retriever, or return target artifact or enchantment from your graveyard to your hand. Love it. Look at that little guy. Sweet. Uh, we've got a Bulwark Giant, and if it gets loud in here, I've got a foster dog that's raising hell in our crate. So, uh, battlefield promotion. Uh, secure the scene. Seed Striker, we are into the Uncommons, Patron of the Violent, Valiant, sorry, uh, let's see, Grid for Battle, Gird for Battle, uh, I'll do a reveal since I don't know if this is a, you know one of those ones with a Mythic in it, and if it is a Mythic, they put a Rare, nope, Uncommon, and we got Tempted Veteran, and what do we get in the Rare slot, it is a reprint, so it could be anything, uh, Cathars Crusade, there you have it folks, that's not a bad pull, uh, could we get a price up there while I'm reading it? Three white white for an enchantment. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a one one counter on each creature you control. That is some sweetness. Uh, I think there's a little bit of value in that one. Carl, just let y'all know. Uh, so, pack number three of the blister pack. Let's do the review. Oh no, wait. Let's get the cell fan off first. Which I cut this one, so I don't even need to do, do the pull tab. Let's do the reveal, and we got dogs. I know every card in this deck because I've been waiting for dogs forever. I'm a dog guy. Everyone knows I'm a dog guy. Let's get to that sweet dog land. Where is it? Oh, that's not it. There it is. I know that's got some value. Price me, Carlito. Look at that. Look at that guy or gal. You can't tell from the picture. He's just, he's living his best life there. He's licking butterflies. That's what you do in a field like that. I lick butterflies. Yeah, we are about to go to battle, bucko. Let's see what we got. We got Thriving Heath, uh, Pacifism. I don't know that I've seen that art on, on pathis, path, 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 Pacifism. Look at that. Are those legs coming out there from under his arms? So he's just squeezed somebody to, and he's knitting. Oof. Uh, Trust Retriever, just read that one, great. Uh, Rambunctious Mutt, uh, Cathar's Companion, uh, Alpine Watchdog, got a Feed of Resistance, Secure the Scene. Uh, this is a new card, Supply Runners, look at those guys. And they're just doing their job, tons of wagon. Four and a white for a 2-2 dog. When it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one -one counter on each other creature you control. That is pretty sweet for an uncommon. Uh, so there it is, release the dogs. I bought this when it first came out because God damn it, look at those guys. Yeah, they look ferocious, but holy hell, look at this little guy right here. Look at him, man, he's just doing his job, man. That's it, three and a white for create four dog creature tokens. Uh, yeah, I bought that as soon as I read it. Uh, and then you've got Alpha Guard Hound, and we've got two more. I know what they are, but we'll do them anyway. Uh, Selfless Savior, oh my God, I don't have enough good things to say about this deck. And let's do the reveal, even though it's Pack Leader. It's the rare, it's Pack Leader. There he is. Uh, you can price that one, Carl. I know it's not that much. But a look at that. That is just awesome. All those dogs are just looking to him. Hey, come on, man. Scottish Terrier, tell us what's up. Uh, one in a white for a 2-2 do two -two dog. Other dogs you control get 1-1. One -one. When Pack Leader attacks, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Two dogs you control. He may die. But for this one day, this one mighty day in our life, I give my life so that all of the dogs can kick ass. There it is. One more pack to go. We were rolling in at under 10 minutes here. I know I spent 10 of that. Or I don't know what I'm saying. Let's get this pack on. on, on. Oh, there we go. I can do the reveal in a second, but, you know, um, uh, salute. All right, last pack in the blister. Let's see what we got. Maybe it'll be cats. Nope, well read. Open a few of these. 
Uh, it's Merfolk stuff, so uh, we may be taking a beating here. Um, I don't know uh, how much Cathar's Crusade is worth, but I don't think it can carry the rest of this pack, uh, the rest of these car, uh, packs. There's your island. Uh, there's your thriving isle. Ruined Servidor. Oops, almost dropped it. Uh, narcolepsy. Uh, era erratic Visionary. Uh, ops. Don't need to read Opt. Rousing. Rousing Read. Uh, Library Larcenus. Uh, Tome Anima. Uh, suspicious bookcase, um, octopus, and we got three more. Uh, curiosity, and do a gender reveal party for the next card. And it is a uncommon Talorian Kraken. Just open that. And what is our rare? Our rare, okay. Our rare is something in the seventy-eight. So it is something in the seventy-eight, and it's a five-five. What is it? Omros Archive Keeper. Four blue blue for a Sphinx, five five flying. If you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it, instead put five one one counters on Ormos, Archive Keeper. One blue blue, discard three cards with different names, draw five cards. If you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it, you lose the game. Someone explain this to me in the comment section, please. Uh, does that have any value, Carlos? Sorry. Okay, so... That's it. That's what we got in that blister pack. Stack it up over here. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that these four bad boys might have a little bit more value. So let's rip these suckers and see what we get. We are at 11 minutes now. I will do this as fast as I can without, God, that glue on these things. I know, shut up about the glue. Shut up about the goddamn glue. Oh, I think I ripped the inner liner. No, I did not. There we go. Let's reveal what did we get. Lightning. All right, this is new. We got, we're hitting a bunch of new ones. Oh, look, the symbols. In the, I never noticed that before. This, <laughs> I'm so stupid. The symbols in the corner of all these. How many? I've opened, what, 40 or 50 of these packs, and I haven't yet noticed the symbols in the corner. Yep, that's the level of stupidity you're dealing with on this channel. Sloppiest channel on the interwebs, folks. Let's see what we get for our land. It is a lightninged up mountain. Yep, that's that's bizarre. Don't know if there's a value on that, but Carlos will find out. Uh, Thriving Bluff. Uh, we've got, oh, this is new. Oh, if, well, it's not new. It's one of the 78, so let's see what we got here. Lightning Core Excavator, one for a 03 Golem, five tap, uh, and it does... Three dam. Oh, you gotta sack it. Five tap sack. It does three damage to any target. So, it's a wall until you don't need it anymore. Uh, lightning stalker, lightning elemental, uh, lightning diet. Okay, now I get it. There's lightning in every goddamn card name. All right, y'all are funny. Lightning visionary. We've had this a few times. This one's in the seventy-eight. One in a, a red for a two-one minotaur shaman prowess. Uh, another one. So you get two in this pack. Because it has lightning in the name, they thought, why not? Throw two into the back. Uh, lightning bolt, so that's nice. Is there any value on that bolt? Uh, bolts always are funny, you know? Um, sometimes they'll be a, a $3 card. So, uh, a weaver of lightning, because lightning, so they just said, hey, can you get, do a gather search? Everything with lightning in its name, there's living lightning. No, we'll create them. If we don't have enough, we'll create them. So, this guy's in the 78 as well. Three in a red for an elemental shaman, 3 2. When it Dies, return target instant sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand so you can get back that bolt. Not bad. Uh, lightning Axe. Two more. We got Homing Lightning. And our rare lightning card is a... It is a rare, and it's in the 78. So there you go. It's a 2-2 two, two something. Lightning Phoenix. Oy. Uh, two... I think this was played the other night. Uh, two and a red for Lightning Phoenix. Flying Haste. It can't block. It's a 2-2. Two, two. At the beginning of your end step, if an opponent was dealt three or more damage this turn, you may pay red. If you do, return Lightning Phoenix from your graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, I think Mr. Pink played that. Can't be sure. Uh, don't know. So I'm creating a huge mess of, of garbage here. I should just try ripping in the middle. Yeah, that's easier. I'm fighting the glue, and I could just be ripping in the middle. So ripping in the middle. 
It's so much fun. Ripping in the middle. Pull tab. There you go. Knock the camera over. Let's do a reveal. Cats. There's the cats. We got dogs in the other one. Oh, here you, here you go. There's some chubby of the cats. I don't remember what the big cat is. Let's get to it quickly, though, because we're at 15 minutes right now. Oh, boy, cats. It's a green deck, but I could have seen that if I'd looked in the corner. So, let's see what we got. I got a hair in my mouth. This stuff only happens when I roll the camera. So there's your cat's land. There's a cat back there stalking you, if you can see it. Uh, Carl, has this got any value like the dog's one? Uh, I hate that we're going to be riding on the backs of the value of basic lands here, but uh, Feral Prowler. Still, Cathar's Crusade is probably the best one so far. Uh, Pouncing Cheetah. Uh, Initiate's Companion. Feral Invocation. Question Canopy, which is in every green deck. Uh, Primalkin. Uh, huh. Primalkin. Yeah. Uh, Sabertooth Mauler. Uh, Canopy Stalker. Is that new? No, it's M21. Uh, so we've got a Nature's Way. Uh, Keeper of Fables. Uh, Enlarge. Always love that thing. They, they made the cat big, 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 and then dumped it on the Merifolk. Uh... There we go, here's the rare. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Texts are rolling in and they are weird. Two, three, feline sovereign. It's the thing of the thing. Uh, two and a green for creature cat. Uh, other cats you control get one, one and have protection from dogs. Whenever one or more cats you control deals combat damage to a player, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Uh, you know, somewhere in the world, at some point, two people took two of these packs, shuffled them together, one person got the dog's pack, one person got the cat's pack, and they're still playing now. Drip through the middle. Please stop texting me. I promise, I, as soon as I'm done with this, I will get pick up my phone and call you or text you. Uh, work friend. So I cut through these. Oh, there we go. Cut. Yep, cut right through it. No, I don't even have to tear it. No, off it comes. What do we got? We've got witchcraft. Ha. Ah. Okay. Black. Three. Six black lands. And we get the bat. Oh, that's creepy. Look at the eyeball floating in the muck with the arms and the and the rainbow in the back and the vat. That's all the scary things put in one picture. Congratulations. That's what I said. They said, artists, go put scary things into a painting. Uh, last gasp. Festering Newt. Why would you put Festering Newt in... Festering Newt is part of a trifecta of cards that was in a set that... Oh, please don't tell me all three of them are in here. Blood Hunter Bat. Black Cat. Bacon a Pie. I don't see him yet. Tempting Witch. So that was a, that's the card on the front. So, okay, I think we're safe. Swarm of, swarm of Blood Flies. Uh, but no, we're not. Because I think Bubbling Cauldron is one of the three here, if I'm not mistaken. Blood Divination. Witch of the Moors. Well, it's a rare, so let's read it. Oh, and it's one of the 78. So this is new. Uh, any value there, Carlito? Three, Black Black, Death Touch, Human Warlock, 4-4. Four, four. At the beginning of your end step, if you gained life this turn, each opponent sacrifice a creature and you return up to one target creature from your graveyard to your hand. Um, yeah, that could be valuable in a, uh, Aristocrats deck, which is a deck I really like playing. Uh, let's, let's see, is Bog Witch, Bog Brew Witch the, uh, the rare? L yep, there it is. So search your library for a card named Festering Newt or Bubbling Cauldron. Uh, put it in the battlefield, tap, and then shuffle your library. This is a reprint. Uh, Carl, show us how many cents we just earned. Okay. So yeah, it was a two rare pack, um, but I'm not. I'm gonna put Witch of the Moors because that's probably the valuable card there. Uh, one more to go. We're just under 20 minutes. Let's let's finish this off with something interesting. Can we get a Tiny Bones? Can we get a um, the dinosaur elf thing? That'd be nice. A mill card would be nice. 
Let's see, what do we get? Plus one. Oh, that is so not my game. Oh, is it Hydra's? I'm guessing it's green, right? Yeah, it's Hydra's, I bet. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I counted seven and I was correct. There are seven in here. And there is your weird oddball forest that probably has how much value? No value. It's one of the 78 though. Thriving Grove, uh, Iron Shell Beetle, Fertilid, uh, Armor, Arbor Armament, uh, Pride Malkin, uh, Hunter's Edge, uh, Truffle Snout. I'm not gonna go off on Truffle Snout. We're, we're, there's no time. Uh, Nessian Horn Beetle, uh, Armored Judge, uh, Wildwood's, uh, Wildwood Scourge, and we got two left. We'll do a reveal because I keep forgetting to do that. So we get Uncommon, uh, Invigorating Surge, and what is our rare? It is a seven, it's one of the 78. It is, what did we get? Did we get something good? I don't see power and toughness, so I don't know if it's a good green or not. Uh, Branching Evolution. Okay. Uh, I think this is good. Uh, two and a green for uh, an enchantment. If one or more one more encounters would be put on a creature control, twice that many are put on that creature instead. I This has to have value. Show it to me. There you go. Let's do it again. So on this side, show me on this side. This side, I want the value for the blister packs. This side, I want you the value for the hanger packs. Let's see who won. And there it is. Uh, I'll not know till I watch the video after it gets uploaded by Carlito tomorrow. But there you have it. Two big fat stacks of cards. Uh, one of these won. One did not. Y'all be careful. I'll keep opening. I got plenty more of this Jumpstart stuff to do. Uh, and by the time this month is over, um, I will have a couple of boxes of the call time set to open. And we'll do it right here on this channel. Why? Because we're still going to be indoors because of the goddamn COVID.